The second example I'd like to walk through comes from Hollywood. How many of you have watched the movie The Meg? Okay, I see one. All right. <laughs> you guys, this is like the best shark movie, maybe after Sharknado and Jaws, okay? So you really need to go see this if you haven't. I bet you did not know that the prehistoric megalodon that stars in the Meg was actually rendered using machine learning. So let's watch a video where Ziva Dynamics and Scanline Visual Effects talk us through how they created it. When working on creatures, uh, the very important aspect, if, um, if not the most important aspect, is to create an underlying machinery that triggers all the different aspects of anatomy at the right time. It's a very complex relation between all of these different aspects. The ways that we use Intel Xeon scalable processors is to generate amazing training data. So like if you look at like all the, the complex motion that you see on the gills, like all the wave propagation that you see, all that stuff is a product of running simulations using our software. So y'all need to go see that. Um, again, top shark movie after Sharknado. I mean, that's incredible. So making the Meg real, what James was saying from Ziva Dynamics, I mean, what we did was learn from the movements of the shark, creating models that studied the anatomy as well as the flow that the shark took through the water to help create this incredibly photorealistic creature that's, you know, Hollywood scale. And if you look at the sheer amount of data that was processed, we're talking about two million, you know, just millions and millions of 2D and 3D images being processed on tens of thousands of Intel Xeon CPU cores. And ultimately what that's delivering is savings in time. We're able to see these photorealistic creatures created not so much in thousands of human hours, but just like a few machine hours.